What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today, we're talking about the genius that is Trey Anastasio, primarily focusing on his outro solo during the big crescendo in the song Throwing Stones from one of the Fare Thee Well shows back in 2015. He's saying the most he can and killing the solo by predominantly using triads, chord tones, and common tones. So without further ado, check this out. So, like mentioned before, today we're looking at how Trey Anastasio approached the final solo on Throwing Stones from one of the Fare Thee Well shows. Now, I watched those shows on pay-per-view. Didn't really get the music. <laughs> but only recently, last year during the pandemic, I really dove into those Fare Thee Well shows and realized Trey killed those performances and he played very rudimentary he played a lot of triads and a lot of chord tones which is incredible because if you were to see for example this solo which is linked below if you were to take the whole band out and just hear trey you could hear the chord changes happen because of triads and chord tones that he's approaching during his solo so this solo is textbook how to apply triads and chord tones to make an incredible solo. So, before we dive into it, let's check out the chords, right? The chords are A, D, A, E, A, right? Pretty cool resolution that E to A, that G sharp to A. Nice, right? And since on this channel we talk about triads a lot, where else can we play this three chord progression? Right? Or something like that. Or right? Or take it to just only the top three strings. Right? Or... Right? Triad. So, those are the chords and triad positions you can play it. So, how did Trey approach this solo? If we were to take excess notes away 
right? The most simple sentence we can say that outlines the chord progression is something like this. Right? Root of A. Walk up the scale, A, B, C sharp, D, to indicate the D major. E, D, landing on C sharp indicates you're back on A. G sharp indicates E. Landing on A indicates back to the A major chord, right? That's one version we could do. Another version, if we include a bend, right? From the G sharp, a little walk up from E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Or a variation on that walk up, you could do E, F sharp, B, A. So that solo would be right. So you're playing root and chord tones to indicate the A, D, A. Right? And when Trey was moving positions, he would just say, or think, obviously, where are my other triads? Here. And then say his sentences over here. switch triad areas, right? Always aiming for triad. Brilliant. All he's looking for are where are my chords? Right? And say the most in these specific areas. You could do something very A major pentatonic. You 
get you higher up, right? Again, just triads. We're only spelling triads and chord tones, right? So now I'm going to stop and we're going to zoom in and look at this very Anastasio inspired lick that I got inspiration from watching the clip on YouTube. So let's get back in two seconds. Alrighty, all zoomed in. First things first, let's check out where we can play this chord progression in the upper register. Right? Or... Right? Two variations on this progression of A, D, E. So now let's check out the Trey Anastasio inspired lick. Again. Slower. And I'm still outlining the changes. A, A, D, A. With the same lick. So what's really happening? First part, I'm playing very, very A major. Right? Root, 17th fret of the high E string. F sharp, E, 19th, 17th on the B string. Then bending this B to C sharp, the major third. Then landing back on the A on the 14th fret of the G string. Right? Very A major. Right after, I'm spelling a D major triad. Right? Now to get back from this D to the A, I'm playing F sharp, E, C sharp. Right? Those are common tones between those two chords. In the key of D, F sharp is the third, E is the second, C sharp is the major seven. In the key of A, F sharp is the sixth, E is the fifth, C sharp is the major third, right? Now comes the fast run. I wish I could zoom in more on my camera, but I can't. <laughs> right? And that gets you back to the A. throw on some overdrive, and that really gets you in that territory. Right, one more time. Yeah. So that is throwing stones and how Trey 
Anastasio approached it during Fare Thee Well and this very Trey Anastasio inspired lick. Well, all right, guys, that's today's video on how Trey approached the Throwing Stone solo from the Fare Thee Well show with Grateful Dead. And it's such basically a masterclass in soloing just using triads, chord tones, and common tones. And how he maps it out is he starts between the frets 9 and 12, goes down, goes down to like root position, like frets 2 through 5 plays the A, D, and E there, and then climbs up all the way the octave higher to like the 15th fret root for the A, and he just kills it. So this lick was very much inspired by that performance, which again is linked below. It's not my footage, but the person gets credit for it, obviously. And I'll link the, the solo time as well so you can check it out. This is an incredible solo and a masterclass when it comes to soloing with triads, chord tones, and common tones. So, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.